Hello, Venu this side. In this video, I am explaining one more error. If you enter spark shell, some rare cases, you will get this. Invalid, spark, etc, etc, etc. Usually, what the issue? Usually, sometime your server get crashed. At the time, your IP number may be changed. At the time, usually this, at, at the time, usually you will get that errors. This error. Usually, how to solve that issue? Simple. Okay. Go to environment variable. First, close this terminal. Okay. Next, go to environment variable. Here, yeah. some rare cases only. All, uh, all others not required. If you get that error, at the time only, please do it. Okay. Spark. Local host name. What is that? Maybe local host. Otherwise, if you have any IP number, just enter that. That is also fine. Okay. At the time, what happened in environment variable? If you mention this forcefully, hundred percent it is able to understand what is the Spark local host. Okay. Now enter Spark shell. Now 99% that problem solved. Why the, you got in that error? Let example, earlier you have 123, 123, 123 IP number. So unfortunately, your server get crashed. Crashed. Now please check, hey, that server is crashed. Now it is easily understand what is this post, etc., etc. That's why some rare cases only you will get that error. If you get the error, don't worry. I'm sure uh, this code just mentioned in that environment video. You are giving hint to the kernel. Uh, like, uh, I mean, uh, that uh, Spark. Hello, Spark. Sp uh, in case a server get crashed, the server is not identified. This is local host, local computer only. It is the server installed. Don't search for remote server. Like that, you are giving hint in the environment video. So at that time, it's working fine. That's it. If you have any queries, please comment below. I will try my level best to explain. Thank you. Thank you very much.